Hey guys, thanks for coming back and welcome to Wednesday where I answer questions from my viewers. Well, let's just get right into this one, guys. Do pheasants make good pets? Well, pets, by definition, is a domesticated or tamed animal kept for companionship or pleasure. So, can they be kept as pets? Yes. Is it a good idea? Well, it all depends on you. What are you looking for in a pet? And uh, we'll go over that right now. Well, first of all, I just wanna say that usually people who raise pheasants, it's in their blood. You know, it's something that they must do. They feel they have to do. Pheasants are just a part of your life. You want them in your life. And, um, and they just have that natural ability to, um, or skill to, to raise birds, all bird people, you know? And um, it's something a lot of people don't understand. You either are into it or you are not. Um, but as far as pets, it's all dependent on what you're looking for in a pet. If you want a cuddly animal that shows you affection, Pheasants ain't happening for you guys. Um, yeah, there are some pheasants that will uh, relax while you pet them or even feed them, you know, and let you, you know, you know, just, just touch them. And that's not really affection. That's, they're tolerating you. They're tolerating your existence. They could care less if you um, are there or not. They just want food and they just want to be left alone and they just want to feel safe. Now, something very debatable, guys, is whether pheasants are domesticated. And I would say overall, no. Now they can be tamed, which is totally different. They can um, learn to tolerate you and your existence. You guys can live peacefully together. And for many, many hundreds of years, people have been raising pheasants. So um, domesticated, no, because they are kind of a skittish, flighty bird. Now, not all birds are gonna be skittish and flighty. You know, Not all your pheasants are gonna be a spaz. Let me show you, for example, there are some exceptions. There's Papa right here. Excusing him for looking so rough. He's remolting, guys, but he's coming back. See the cape feathers? Anyways, don't want to get distracted. But he will eat out of our hands. He will look forward to us coming to his pen, you know, for those tasty treats. And uh, overall, he is a pet, you know. He is kept for pleasure. I enjoy having him, you know. Um, and if you have a pet bird that you just enjoy having, yeah, that is considered a pet. But it just depends on what you want. What do you want for in a pet? Now, he is calm, like I said, for the most part, not skittish or flighty. I think that has a lot to do with his uh, genetics. You know, sometimes when you try to domesticate an animal, there is a genetic drift, you know, and I believe that his recessive trait that makes him yellow that inhibits the red takes away that color that wild color from him um, i believe that is linked to his uh his temperament that is one of my beliefs because i notice with my yellows their temperament is like day and night from my red goldens and especially with these ladies they are very calm now sometimes not so much today they must be in a mood or something. But they will come right up to your feet. You go in their pen. You might step on them if you're not looking for, looking out for them. But yeah, you can pet these girls usually. So if you guys are curious about pheasants and you know you're, you're thinking about getting some for pets, try it. I mean, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't, you know. Um, but I will say this. If you're looking for an exotic pretty bird or pretty pheasant, um, start off with rough pheasants. Lady Amherst are golden, very easy to keep. Um, you can tame them down, but you will find that they're not really the most domesticated bird out there, you know. Um, but if you're curious, just try it, you know. But yeah, and there are a lot of recessive colors off the golden too that you guys might be interested in. So um, yeah, just check that out. And they can be tamed down over time, but it's best to start out with babies. You know, if you have baby chicks, then um, they get used to you and 
you know they'll tolerate you and they'll look forward to you actually come in if you bring them treats and stuff um on that end of it pets yeah they can be kept as pets and like i said guys if you're going to start out with pheasants get some get some goldens you know try those out and see if you like them and then you can expand from there but if you had to go and start out with these swin hoes right here i mean these things are going to bore you i mean pheasants have to be in your blood for you to keep these guys i walk up to their pan and they freeze for like a good two or three minutes and um yeah so yeah if you're looking for something to entertain you um i wouldn't start out with these swin hoes you know they're very very pretty and i'm glad i have them i enjoy looking at them and i enjoy feeding them take care of them and all that but um sometimes they just uh can be quite boring but during breeding season guys they do a little hop dance that's pretty cool you should check that out that's kind of entertaining so here's an interesting story guys okay um a few years back i had given some kids some red golden chicks they've had chickens before all their lives you know good country kids you know know how to take care of animals really well anyways they were curious about pheasant chicks they'd never seen them they never had them anyways i had given these kids some chicks and they raised them and they spent so much time with them i mean in their pens holding them feeding them by hand they got so used to the kids they were just jumping all over their shoulder and uh yeah it was it was a trip i'd never seen a pheasant act that way but knowing that they still weren't showing these kids affection they were um just tolerating them you know but very very used to them you know they were able to coexist very peacefully which i thought was very interesting you know so it just all depends on what you're looking for in a pet you know um also by the way on a side note these same kids told me because them pheasants looked very well and i said hey guys what are you guys feeding those birds and they said they were just giving them chick start you know just like your chickens and i'm like oh wow um this kind of goes against everything we've all been taught about raising pheasant chickens high protein crumbles any of that i tried it it worked kids are right anyways that's a that's a whole different story but um you can learn a lot from people you know just by uh their interactions with animals and just remember everybody's got something to teach you oh yeah another thing too is if you are into chickens and you really love chickens you're a chicken nut you know you just freaking spend all your time with chickens you just do all kinds of chicken stuff. You wake up thinking about chickens. You're just a chicken person. And you chicken people know what I mean, okay? You have little chicken villages in your yard. You know, you have every chicken named and, um, you know, every chicken's personality. You're just a chicken nut, okay? You know what I'm talking about. You guys are the ones who are going to love pheasants the most. Believe me, okay? Because I was that chicken nut. That's just a little side note. But uh, that's how I feel about it. And by giving it a shot, guys, I mean, if you're curious about raising them, just try it, you know? And um, like I said, I would start out with the rough pheasants. Specifically, I would start out with the yellow golden pheasant. That's just my experience. Yellow goldens, to me, have been the most easygoing, most chillest birds that, or pheasants, sorry, that I have ever raised, you know? I had some silvers back in the day. They were, they were pretty chill, too, um, which silvers were pretty cool. Silver is the only pheasant species that I've ever had luck free ranging. And that was as a kid, they were raised with chickens and I um, let them loose with the chickens and they stuck around, they hung around. Now I tried with other different species and I've never had success. I mean, I let my uh, Lady Amherst go. That was the latest one. I tried again because I th thought he would, I thought he would stay. He was, he was, you know, he, he was just that type, you know, you just, I just had a feeling, you know, and that gut feeling was wrong because he took off. That's a different story. See, I mean, this is bird talk, guys. I can talk about these birds for days. Anyways, going back to the yellow goldens. My yellow goldens, guys, I swear by it, they are some of the chillest birds. These right here are just babies, and they're still skittish because they have not had very much human interaction you know i go and feed them and take care of them and all that of course but yeah they'll fly up just like any bird and try to get away and just act all spazzed out you know but once i go and spend a little time with them my yellows will calm right down 
but it's just in the pheasants, guys. It's in their blood just to take off in flight. That's why they make such a good hunting bird. That they just have that jolt, that burst of flight, you know, when they're spooked. But I will say this, guys, okay? Now, just like any animal, just like any person, they all have their own personality. You can have two full siblings, right? Raise them exactly the same way, and they will venture off into their own personality, their own way of thinking, you know, their, their own, you know, uh, likes and dislikes, if you will. I mean, it's just, they're like that with any animal. You know, it's just like humans, you know? You can raise two kids the same exact way and they'd be totally different. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this one. I hope I answered any of your questions regarding pheasants as pets. Yeah, and just remember, if you're looking for a cute, cuddly animal that's gonna show you love and affection, um, pheasants ain't gonna do it for you. That's not the animal for you. But if you're looking for some excitement in your yard, you know, something pretty to look at, something, some entertainment, you know, pheasants are the way to go. Especially if you're a bird person, guys, or a chicken person, like I was saying. Um, but yeah, I mean, give it a shot, right? Um, some people, they're curious about stuff and they don't try it and they just, you know, regret it. Just get it out of your system. Try some birds. Anyways, um, to all my fellow bird peeps, all right, please subscribe if you haven't and I will see you next time. All right, guys, bye. And here are some examples of birds that have their own unique personality. And their personality has stood out. Popeye. Mr. Electric. And you all know Kevin. And of course my buddy Albert. How we doing there, big buddy?